Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in need of a website, domain or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Have you ever looked at someone's photos and just wished you could capture the same kind of look as them? There's this look in fashion photography that's got this kind of warm tonality, but there's this other aspect which it's really hard to put your finger on what it actually is. There's just a feeling in these photos. And it looks different from anything I've ever received as a scan of my film. Well, I know how they do it. And today, I'm gonna to expose this secret kind of method and process and show you how to get that secret source, the, the epic tones. Pre-warning, this is not exactly an affordable way of working for most people. It's kind of like a special occasion thing, right? If you had a particular image, Every now and again, maybe it's something you'd do. I'm not recommending anyone does this for all of their work. However, there are definitely some ways of keeping costs down. But anyway, let's head over to Bayer, the film lab that I use all the time, and let's go and see how this is done. So before this video, I've already shot a roll of Portrait 160 through my Mamiya RZ67. 10 portraits of a guy called Samuel, which came out, I think, pretty cool. And as a neutral kind of baseline, here's the film scanned by Bayer, just like as a regular roll that goes through the lab. This is what I received. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with this at all. They look good, I'd be happy to post these. But let's treat these as the baseline. Let's see how we can take this to the next level. So these were scanned on an Aritsu, and the scan kind of flat, so you can kind of edit them how you want to. So I took two selected images, my favorites of the bunch, and now it's time to apply that secret fashion source to them. All right, let's not beat around the bush. The secret way to get this kind of awesome look is to hand print in the darkroom your selected image and then scan that hand print. It's a pretty laborious way of working and you do have to be very good at hand printing to make this look good. But there's something about this process which just has a completely different look, which I think to someone that doesn't know about this process is kind of unidentifiable. You don't know why these photos look so good, but you can tell that something about them is just really nice. And this actually used to be a super popular way of working back in the day. People did this all the time, but as digital kind of became more prevalent, the hand in times kind of shrinked. People expected photos to be back from a shoot a lot quicker, and this way of working just became a bit slower. So people much preferred to just get a good scan in straight away and send that straight to the retoucher because messing around in the dark room is just added time and it still can need to be retouched anyway. But anyway, let's get to the printing and see if there is even a difference and if it's worth doing. Now, personally, I've never actually hand printed color film before, but luckily I've got Roy who has been printing for as long as I've been alive. Normally you'd give your printer some kind of reference image and some ideas of what you're going for, but Roy is so good that I kind of just left him to it and got him to print it how he thinks it should be done. And off he went into the dark room and made some really great test prints. I think we went through about three different options before we landed at the final kind of colors and density that we really liked. And it was a really great process. It's really fun to go through this kind of thing. It was just kind of minor different changes a little bit darker, a little bit less warmth in the skin, you know, just, just some little things to make it as good as it possibly can be. And once we finished with the printing, we took these downstairs and took them to two different kinds of scanners to just to take this even further, you know. So the main way that I think this is best done is to hand print and then drum scan. Drum scanning is the best way to scan anything. It produces the best tonality and the biggest files. It's just the best. However, it's pretty expensive. The reason why it's expensive is because the print or a negative has to be manually loaded onto a drum, which takes time and skill. And then the actual scanning process, it gets spun around in this chamber really fast. And it actually takes quite a long time to scan. I think these scans themselves took around 15 minutes per image. And that's on the short run for a drum scan. It can take up to an hour to scan a single negative. So I also wanted to give a kind of cheaper option and something which I thought maybe some people watching this would probably be more likely to do, which is to have a handprint done, whether you're doing it yourself at school or you've got a darkroom yourself, and then taking that to a flatbed, which you could definitely own yourself anyway. I thought it'd be good not only to compare a scan of a print to a Noritsu scan, but also two different scans of prints done in different, more affordable ways. So, what did it actually look like? Here's my drum scan. I think this is amazing. I mean, I'm not gonna say these are the best photos I've ever taken. I think they're nice, but... There's just something about it. I'm really happy because when I thought about making this video, 
part of me was like, what if the difference isn't that much? But I think it's actually really significant. I don't know how well this is going to portray through YouTube's compression, so what I'm going to do is leave in the description a link to these files so you can actually look at them and kind of see for yourself, but these drum scan prints look so much better than the Noritsu scan. And I know that there are some different changes to the Noritsu scan that you could do in terms of just kind of editing the colours a little bit to get them a bit closer. And I've done that to a certain extent just to kind of show you that difference as well, but I think it's just... You can't do this. I don't know why it's so good, I don't know if it's because the, when you're hand printing it goes through another lens and there's just kind of characters in that and the paper's texture and the colours you're able to get, I don't know. I don't know why it's so good, but in my opinion, there is a significant difference. And then, what about the flatbed scan? Well, the flatbed... I mean, it's fine. It, it, for some reason, the colours haven't come out as good as the drum scan. But with a little bit of effort, I'm pretty sure you could get them quite close. So in my opinion, this whole kind of... routine thing... is definitely worth it. However, it's not worth it for any old photo. The reason I would do this is if, say, you've got a big job and it's going in a print magazine or something like that, or a campaign. For those selected images which are going to be shown off and put into print, it's worth doing this little process. It, it, it does make it that little bit better. However, it's not something I'm going to do just to post to Instagram. It takes too much time, it takes too much money, it's not worth it. However, if you own your own darkroom, and you have a flatbed scanner, go wild, experiment, this is really fun. So, let me know what you thought. Could you see any difference? Leave a comment. Tell me about it. Do you have a secret method? Well, if it's secret, you know, maybe you don't want to tell me, but, but do you have a method in your process which is unusual? Let me know. And finally, I'd like to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an amazing all-in-one platform for building websites. Whether you want to purchase a new domain, maybe start a blog, an online store, or a website for your business or yourself. Maybe you want to build a photography portfolio. Squarespace can do all of this and much, much more. There's an amazing variety of different themes to get you started, and you definitely don't need any prior web building experience to build a very professional looking website. They've also got amazing features like scheduling. You can book all your shoots through your website and just kind of handle everything in one place. They've also got amazing customer support if you do come into any troubles. It's just great. In my opinion, having a website of your photography portfolio is pretty essential. You need to have a place to call your own to show off your work in the best way possible. And a website with Squarespace is so easy to do this with. It's so simple and quick to do, so you can spend the least amount of time worrying about coding and how to build a website, and you spend more time out there doing shoots, getting stuck in with the real fun stuff, but still having a really nice website. So, if you want to sign up to Squarespace today, use the code negative feedback or click the link in the description to get 10% off your order. So, what are you waiting for? Get yourself a lovely new website today. And finally, thanks for watching. Uh, next week, there'll be something else. Bye!